Okay, so this is 14 hours later. I've been checking on my ants periodically over this period. Um, they've moved the queen, uh, most of the eggs. So it's been a pretty successful transfer so far. But it's not complete yet. Sorry about the wobbly hands. It's hard when I zoom in. Alright. So basically, over the night, I just chucked this towel over the top of the secondary formicarium. I took this heat lamp off, and I just left the ceiling light on, which is just a cool white LED. With a frosted globe on it. Just to try and help them move um so i left a heat pad on underneath this aquarium as well overnight for my carrium sorry okay so here's the queen Supposed to be autofocus. Pretty shit autofocus, if you ask me. So they got most of their eggs in here. It looks like there's even more eggs than before. I wouldn't be surprised because they've had some sugar and bits of food and stuff. They're going pretty crazy for their live food over here. There was a silverfish in there. But it's gone. So yeah. You probably don't want to know, but that earwig's still alive after 14 hours. <laughs> Just put that in the back of your mind. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure they don't feel pain like you and I, so... They just sense damage. Your brains aren't uh, complex enough to comprehend pain. I don't think that it's programmed. So the ants are even using this tube to access the water, which appears to be successful. Get this to focus. So I was a bit worried there would be a lot of drowning ants in here, but so far they're not drowning. But if I do bump this, the water level will move and uh, could possibly dunk some ants under. I think because it's so cold, the chamber closest to the water is only 44% humidity, which is really, really low. As soon as it warms up, though, it'll start to, it'll start to evaporate and go back into the container, so I'll have to keep an eye on that and watch this little tap here.
of sugar. I'm trying to get it to focus, sorry. Alright, anyway. That's enough. Alright. 